Welcome back. I'm still reading Simpson's notebook about Garrison. Control rooms. I'm not going to go into controls for the wall in this dock. I'll let Lat Laxman do that at some other time. Regardless, the panel here obviously controls the wall. The wall was used for training as well as testing of various suits. I believe the central room can get pretty hot, cold, smoky or anything else I can imagine pretty quick. It was a competition, whoever could get to the top the quickest. Teams would set up the obstacles and members would race. There's a side tunnel that provides access to the display rooms from the control room. Display rooms. Not sure that these were originally display rooms, or maybe they were. Either way, there are quite a few old maintainer suits in here. There's also the latest maintainer suit, or skin, here. I guess I should say the machine to put on the latest maintainer suit is in here. Now that we've had some time to look at this, it's incredible. We're talking about a suit that was skin tight and had linking abilities, etc., built in. Very high tag as far as maintainer suits go. Very impressive. A maintainer would fall down the chute, and while traveling to the interior room, the wall, the suit would be placed on him. I'm begging to try this, but the DRC is insistent no one does. Laxman already has someone on it, trying to figure out more. I'm first when I do. I think these rooms could basically be described as team locker rooms. Conference rooms. Well, I guess these rooms were where the bigwigs sat down and talked about their maintainers. Obviously, they are set up to watch the wall, and there are displays that show the patterns being built and played on the wall. We'll never know, but I can see the guildmasters in here watching their teams compete, preparing to send them out to some radioactive fireball age to see if their new suits can stand the elements. Upper portions. I'm not going up now, but we do know the upper portions were used as prison cells. Typical Dunny technology. They had a single linking book that went to all the cells. Since the building was always rotating, a very complicated linking apparatus and timing mechanism was associated with the book. The timing of the link would determine which cell the person linked into. Apparently, it was very tight. Speaking of linking, this entire building is rotating as well. It seems that most visitors came on the path from the well, although there were also books directly to this building. There had to be. It seems that many of them also used the timing mechanism to link into specific rooms. Looks like another new feature designed and built by these guys. One of many, I'm sure. I'm just wondering where the main research labs were. Or better yet, where did everyone sleep or eat? Okay, well, um, that finishes the notebook. Well, this is a short video, but uh, anyway, I will stop here and continue in the next video.